information out to everybody. A surge in the number, I'm reading from the AP, a surge in the number of aggressive Al-Qaeda affiliates and like-minded groups in the Middle East and North Africa poses a serious threat to U.S. interests and allies. The State Department said Wednesday in reporting a more than 40% increase in terrorist attacks worldwide between 2013 and 2012. The department also signaled out Iran as a major state sponsor of terrorism that continues to defy demands. It prove its atomic ambitions are peaceful, even as Washington pursues negotiation with Tehran. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how the AP writes propaganda to the average person that thinks they're informed and actually reads news. Because only about 20% of people actually even care about the news and think they're smart and think they're informed because they, they, they keep track of establishment news. Iran is Shiite. Al-Qaeda is a radical Wahhabi Sunni group. Totally different groups that hate each other more than anybody else. Saudi Arabia is the, are the ones running Al-Qaeda, but they imply here that, I, that Iran is involved. And I'm not saying Iran isn't involved in terrorism. The point is they just conflate the two, mix the two, so the average person reading this thinks Iran is behind the growth of Al-Qaeda. No. The West turned over Libya to Al-Qaeda to take it over and backed Al-Qaeda with Western airstrikes. That's on record. And now even our own government admits Libya is much worse off, and Al-Qaeda is using Libya as a command base to invade all of Africa. Now that that crisis erupts, the West can use that as a smokescreen to invade other areas and seize resources that has nothing to do with Al-Qaeda. So our government puts Al-Qaeda in and then says they've got to be in Africa to fight Al-Qaeda when they're actually running around murdering villagers for their property. And the same thing for Syria. The same thing for Iraq. There was an article out yesterday about how they're having to send advisors and more troops back to Iraq to fight Al-Qaeda. And our troops will actually now fight real Al-Qaeda, who was armed, protected, and given bases in western Iraq. I mean, this is how the globalists operate, because we are politically illiterate. The average American, people are starting to wake up. But they don't know what they're waking up to. It's like they hear the door crash in and somebody yelling and screaming downstairs in your house. You know someone's coming in your house. You know you're being screwed. You know something bad is happening, but still you don't know what it is. Well, there's a 14-foot vampire that just knocked down your front door. It's called the New World Order, and it's going to tie you up and, and suck the blood out of you and your whole family real fast if you don't get up on your feet and get motivated real fast. That's who just came through the door. I saw him coming down the street, sucking dry a whole bunch of other countries and writing white papers on how he did it. Now he just rammed down the front door because you invited him in. You wanted all the free Obamacare and the rest of it. And uh, you better get motivated. You're like, well, I can't beat a 14-foot vampire, you know, with, with uh, eight-inch fangs. Well, if you cower, he's going to tie you up and suck you dry real slow. So you better go ahead and just turn into a killer gorilla and start attacking. Because let me tell you, you're a lot meaner than that 14-foot vampire if you decide you are. I'll use that cheesy analogy. I'll take a werewolf gorilla anytime over a uh, vampire. You will stomp the guts out of the vampire if you just decide you can do it. But he's coming. He's coming up the stairs now. Next month, he'll be in the bedroom. You're going to hide under the bed? He'll smell you under there. He's got NSA grids, satellites, the whole nine yards, and armies of vampires ready for war against you and your family. It's called Homeland Security. And they're training for your blood right now, training on you and your children. They've got their famous centers built. They're coming. Hiding under the bed isn't going to protect you. By the way, it's one of the highest high satanic holy days right now. So coming up uh, at the start of the next hour, I'm going to get into Beltane that is celebrated on May 1st for more than 6,000 years that we know. And child sacrifice is called for on the Gaelic holiday of Beltane. So you wonder why the communists, the liberals, the trendies, well, this is their day. So um, if this is what you celebrate, we'll worship the horned god and drink a bucket of blood. Go grab a kid off the streets and burn them. Burn them for your God.
Of course, don't worry, they're killing babies everywhere. 53 million and counting just in this sector. They make the Druids blush. We'll be right back on May Day for all you liberals. Well, you got to understand the Jacobins and the French Revolution and the Illuminati. It's all mainline history in Encyclopedia Britannica. But the average person doesn't know about basic history. The fact is that the left is known as the sinister hand or the hand of the devil. And so until the last 150 years or so, politics was not described as left or right. But as the Jacobin, Satanic, Luciferian society grew in power, I'm going to cover this in the next hour, politics became one of left and right. Right means male and godly. Sinister, or the sinister hand, the left means evil and female. And I'm not saying females are evil, folks. The point is, is that that's, that's where it all comes from. So when you hear we're leftist, it means we're devil worshipers. And so you need to just know where that all comes from. And of course, the Republicans are off at their Bohemian Grove and Skull and Bones, and they're just the fake right hand of the left to create the illusion so you think that there's only the left and the right, when the left and the right is an occultic, which means hidden, world system. And we live in an occult world system of left and right, and people don't even know where it comes from. Now, there's the uh, definition, sinister. Middle English sinister from Anglo-French on the left from Latin sinister. Sinister on the left side, unlucky, inauspicious. See, all of this encoded language is in public view if you know what it means. And of course the elite do. They all communicate with each other, even on television, giving each other codes and things. And if you're not initiated into that, if you're not part of the gang, if you don't know their battle language, then you don't understand what they're doing. Well, I know their battle language. I've studied their battle language. And it's like a Twilight Zone episode to go through life watching them with their gang signs, communicating, running their operations, celebrating our destruction, trampling and being trampled upon. A society that doesn't develop towards more virtue and more love, but or it's less, more barbarous, more murderous, Winston. If you want to picture the future, see a boot stomping on a human face forever. Goodness cornered and tied down and chained, annihilated over and over again ritualistically for the power of evil. I'm paraphrasing 1984. So I said I'd get into it. I'm going to try to focus and, and, and really break down how it all works for you uh, coming up. I kind of just did right then, didn't I? It's coming up. Let me tell you about it now. But I'll talk more about that uh, in the first 30 minutes of the next hour. Then Tosh Plumley's going to be popping back in. Because, again, he's been told the subpoena is coming. And that that basically, the subpoena is a gag order because it says you can't talk there. So I want him to just get any, everything else on record. And you know what? We'll take questions for Tosh Plumley when he comes on. We'll have him talk five minutes. And then we'll take some calls uh, for Tosh Plumley, the CIA contract pilot who's on record as CIA contract pilot, whistleblower in the uh, church committees. You know, why is he still flying for the CIA? Because they can't penalize him because he's public. Being public is the way to go. They, they want to create the illusion that you can't stand up where everybody's scared, nobody stands up, and the evil takes over. But again, just like people don't know what Salwin or Sam Hain stands for, they don't know what Beltane stands for, Mayday, they don't know what Al-Qaeda is. They don't know the criminals that run our country literally are the daddies, the mommies, the funders, the sponsors, the commanders of Al-Qaeda. Because people don't know the basics of the planet. They don't know its history. They don't know its systems. They don't know any of it. You can become an outside observer and quite frankly an initiate of all this but you're not a supporter of it but you're the equivalent of an initiate if you would simply decide to study real history
how they operate, what they're doing, why they plan to become God, they believe merging with the machines. But to do that first, humans have to be defeated, and then the machines have to be defeated before they merge with the higher consciousness. And the entire 2001 Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke is an allegory of that. All right, we're going to come back and get into the news straight ahead. Stay with us. We've got key gun news straight up. We're on the mark.